special thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee and welcome to this video. I'm a little bit rusty, right? I have not filmed in like maybe three weeks now, maybe a little bit more. Obviously you guys have been watching content that has been put out since I went away on holiday. Do I even look tanned? No. But I'm back now and today we are going to, we're not going to really read pot, we sort of are. I'm going to cut this bad boy. So this is Epipremnum Cebu Blue. I mentioned it actually I think in last week's video that you saw and it's just a little bit, it's a little bit too long. I need to do something about it. So I'm going to basically give it a haircut and I'm going to plant the cuttings up into here. Maybe not all of them. I'll kind of say, I'm not going to cut it into like individual nodes. I'll keep some vines and make a mini plant because my girlfriend really really wants one of these so I'm going to I'm gonna make like a little bushy plant anyway this is probably too small for it but at the same time I'm not gonna be able to put it in something bigger because there's not gonna be enough root so anyway we're just gonna crack on with it now the only thing I will say to you guys is this might look slightly floppy I think it does sorry if I look over here I'm looking at a monitor where I can see what's going on because I'm too far away from the camera but uh, this does look a little bit I wouldn't say floppy, but it's not quite perky. It's a little bit thirsty. If you saw it in the last video, you'll probably notice it was a bit more perky than what it is. But that being said, we're going to go through and trim it. And I don't have any questions for you today. I'll probably just tell you a little bit about my holiday and maybe one or two updates on life. Not particularly great updates, going to be honest with you, but we're going to go through it. So before we start, I want to just hold this up and see kind of where I want to chop it lengthwise, because I don't want to lose all the length, right? You won't see all of this because I have to stand back with it, but it's very pretty, isn't it? Look at that. It's so gorgeous. Um, I almost want to say, because I'll make this cut first, maybe here? Maybe shorter. Maybe we can do it. Mm, well, it's got to hang. Maybe here. How are we feeling on that? So everything below the cut whee, comes off. I think that's not a bad idea. Where is it? Round about where that leaf is. Haha, <laughs> now I have to remember. Love that for me. I'll obviously go through him and pick out the odd yellow leaf that I believe he has. So I went on holiday. I went on holiday for a week and I went to Tenerife. If you've been following my Instagram, then you might see, you know, one or two updates that I have given on that. Um, but I went away for a week and I've had a great time, guys. Honestly, best holiday I've had in a long time. I tried to chill out as much as I could. I will get into that. Um, but it was really, really good. Sorry, I'm distracted already because now I've forgotten where we were. I'm just gonna have to make it up. Bosh. I'm gonna put the cuttings. You won't see them for now, but we will go back to them. I'm just wanna, I wanna cut this individually. As you can work out, it's probably not the longest video this week, but I need you guys to just give me a little bit of time to get back into the swing. So you probably get maybe something on Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, something like that. Uh, just, just give me a bit of time to get into it, if you know what I mean. I've got a lot of things to catch up on since I've got home. Have I just cut that? That's quite long, actually. Let's do, let's do these here. I might cut that vine a little bit more because there's maybe some gaps in it and it's just making me think, hmm, oh. I do this, I look away, I realize what I want to cut and then I just don't cut it. So is it about there? Let's do it. Let's do it from here. Where does that even go to? Where does that even go to? So yeah, I'll start talking, shall I? Yay! Look at this. This is so good. So Tenerife was great. I I didn't do a whole lot. I read three books. Very disappointed with that outcome, by the way. I was meant to be reading a lot more books, but I'll talk about it in a second. Um, and I basically just sat under a sun lounger in the shade and did nothing at all. Um, I did go and see the dolphins. If anyone saw on my Instagram stories, I went to see dolphins at sea. It was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. Um, but generally, there's not a lot to report because honestly, I didn't do much. It wasn't that kind of holiday. Personally, when I go on holiday, I'm not the sort of person that wants to go and explore and do all the things. I'm not someone that wants to go out and party or anything like that. Like, I'm quite happy to just be. The less I do, the better the holiday is for me. Do you know what I mean? So I didn't do a whole lot. I've got to say, I didn't do a whole lot. Hang on. You won't see this, but... I'm confusing now the vines that are attached versus the ones that are not. So you know what? I'm gonna put these on the floor because there we go. They are blending into each other too much, too much. So the ones I've cut, I'll just move forward. And then that, see, that makes more sense. 
I probably doesn't need coat. They're quite juvenile. But yeah, I had a good time. So reading wise, I read three books. So I'll probably do like a mini video next week. Not really plenty as such. Um, but I want to talk about the books I've read um, and things like that because it is... I mean, they are horror books, so it makes sense to talk about them while we're in October. So I'll be doing that maybe in a few days, so you can look out for that. So I won't go into what they were about, but I read three books. I I got a little way through a different book that was not horror, but I don't know, maybe I just got into a bit of a groove reading the other types of books that I couldn't get into this book very well. Um, but again, I'll go into it in the video. So I did that, um, had good food, chilled, all the things. It was just, it was such a good time, guys. It was such a good time. It was well needed because I'm not having the best time in the minute. I'm really not having the best time in the minute, but it was nice to go in, just try and forget for a week. Um, do you know what I mean? Oh my God, guys. Why? 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 Why is this so tangled? I'm going to have to untangle this before we cut it because why not? We have the time. We have the time. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully my microphone is behaving today. I need a better situation for microphones in here. So what's this from? What is this from? Yeah, I'm wanting to do a podcast episode soon, by the way. I haven't fully picked one yet. So if you've got a topic that you would like me to do one on, leave it in the comments. I'm more than happy to check them and have a look. That's something on my list. But yeah, since I've got home... I mean, I've done nothing. I got back really late on, well, early Monday morning, I would say. I'm filming this on Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. I'm filming this on Wednesday and I'm still tired. Like I've done a little bit of housework today. But that's basically all I've got done. Oh, I saw my pony this morning. That was cute. Uh, I didn't ride him because the weather is this disgusting. You can't see it, but it is disgusting. But that's all I've basically managed to do. Sorry, what hath going on here? Why? Oh no. It's grown up itself, hasn't it? Oh, I'm just going to pick it apart. Normally I wouldn't mind vines growing back on themselves. Like I'm not precious. You know, I don't brush my plants. I don't style them. I, just, I do kind of let them be. But this will be quite annoying if I don't work out how and where to cut the vine. So we are going to untangle them because I love this plant, guys. I really, I think I mentioned it on that favorites video, but I mean it when I say this plant is my pride and joy. Let's put him backwards. That's cool. What do you do with yourself when you're at home? What are your hobbies? What are your likes and dislikes? Where have you gone? So yeah, I don't have much planned really now between now and Christmas besides some um, some things to attend to, I suppose. Um, the there's going to be... Um, how do I put this? Sorry, this is not... How do, oh, right, I'm going to start again. This is not what I wanted the content of this video to be, but it is getting to the point where I am struggling to not be able to say something about it. Let me just interrupt you for a few seconds to talk about our sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If you want to create a website quickly and easily, then Squarespace is the tool for the job. Simply ask Squarespace's AI to write sections of your website for you based on the subject matter that you give it. It's really quick and easy to create literally anything. Take, for example, a plan shop website, give it a name, pick the sections we want to include on our homepage, pick extra pages we might need, colors, fonts, and even a conversation style that we can use with Squarespace AI. Here's the AI writing a short section on propagating houseplants. It gives us back a lovely little blurb, and with a few more tweaks, we can change the image next to it, to make it fit with our houseplant branding. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up an online business like mine, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And back to the video. I am undergoing a bit of a life change at the minute. It's nothing like health related or anything like that. Um, and I'm, I'm struggling with it. I've been struggling for a long time now, basically since I moved into this house. Um, long story very short, guys, I think I'm going to have to go back to work. Um, I've been really stressed and I haven't wanted to say anything because one, it's probably not like the energy that people want from me, which I understand. I appreciate that. 
But second of all, because I just, I don't, I don't want to, I don't even know how to articulate this. Can you tell why this is, <laughs> I am too fresh for this. I don't know. It just, it just felt like it could only be negative me saying something. But, you know, in like, what, like 2021 to 2023 with the whole horse thing, it was shit. It sucked. And I kind of took you guys with me along the way. I could maybe to an extent do it with this. I don't know. Um, sorry, what, why? This plant, honestly, it just does not want me to have an easy ride today. It's also grown from really weird points where it's being cut. So there's like vines growing off vines and it's, it's quite confusing, should we say. The back's fine. The back's not got anything. Oh, you ever put the pot down on a leaf and then you get really annoyed about it because that's what's just happened to me. Right. Oh, I should have watered it before this. So I can definitely see some yellow, but it, it, it'll be, it'll be fine. Right. So they're cut. Yeah. So we've got to cut some of these. So... <sighs> Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go back to work. The Obviously, the, the whole plant situation has been a bit of a downturn and stuff like that. And I've, I'll, I'll be brutally honest with you, I've, I've tried to fight it as much as I can. Can't fight it anymore. So I'm probably going to go back to work. I hope I can go back to work. I've been, if I do something that, you know, I was previously trained in, so my old career, that that's not something I can just walk back into. So in that sense, I can, you know, take you like mentally along with me um, because, oh, software engineers, if you're watching this, you know what I mean? Like I haven't, written code for five years and it's not just code it's physics maths like i've forgotten most of that shit and don't you dare tell me it's like riding a bike because trust me although the concept of programming is like riding a bike a lot of the rest of it isn't i have new engines to learn i have to relearn the maths the physics because i was shit at it anyway so it's a bit of a it's gonna be a bit of a struggle but i'm gonna do my best because if it doesn't go well i probably have to leave this house to be honest um i don't know how well it's gonna go so i'm being intentionally very big in the live view. Um, I'll give you some more information when I can, obviously. And this, again, this is not really what I came here to say. It's just, I had a feeling I would say something because I'm just kind of at the end of my tether. And I talked about it a little bit on holiday about what to do and stuff. And it's, it's getting scary now. I've tried to... <sighs> basically just keep my, how would you put it? Just keep my bills paid, I guess, for like, well, since I moved in here. Since I moved in here, everything just started spiraling out of control for reasons that I can probably never tell you. But I've been battling for as long as I can and as long as I can, and it's getting to the point where it's getting scary now. So I suppose this is something that you probably would want to know. When it comes to the channel, guys, I, right, so think back to 2020, 2021, maybe even 2022. I didn't really take sponsorships on the channel because I didn't I didn't need to I didn't need the money I'm, I didn't have loads of money but you know I was fine I wasn't really interested in putting sponsorships on the channel and stuff you guys might have noticed slowly over the last at least the last year I've taken on more of those this is because obviously my earnings have been steadily going down and it's all fine as long as I'm coming out at zero every month which I've been coming out at zero every month for a long time so that's fine and all, but I've had to take more sponsorships and things like that to support the channel, to support me being able to still make these videos for you. So if you've seen more sponsorships on the channel, that is why. And I guess while I'm here, I can probably tell you that there will be more of them. I can only ask you really kindly to please support me in that. You don't have to do anything, if you know what I mean. Just please bear in mind that there's a reason why I'm doing sponsorships. It's to make sure I can pay my bills and things like that. I'm really not meaning to to sound like doom and gloom. I'm really not. Like, I'm not even at the crying stage yet. Certainly not on camera anyway. Behind the scenes is a different matter. But I just want to let you know that if if and when I suppose I go back to work, if I get if I make it that far, the the content I will try and obviously do as much as I can as normal, but things might change here and there. Like I remember when I started I started the channel. When was that? It was technically late 2018, but really it was early 2019 when it sort of, I started to make content with some kind of focus. Um, I was still had my job at my old, you know, games company and I, it sucked having the time to make, I think at the time I was making Revlon indexes and stuff and I literally had no time. I had no time in my life. Um, and I was doing one weird video a week and I was able to get it out, but obviously I'm anticipating just as hard a job, if not more, because I have other things to do now i didn't have any companies then do you know I mean now i do it's th there's more to do um I, I don't know. I'm so sorry if this is garbled. It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. I'm just trying to be honest with you. My family aren't probably going to love me for being this honest on camera. Sorry. Um, but it, it's something... In, in all honesty, guys, I've been struggling for a while with... <sighs> I don't ever want to give... <sighs> Come on. I don't ever want to give a false 
impression of a, of a, a scenario in which life is when it isn't. I think it's very important when you do things like this on the internet, for example, to just really say it how it is. Do you know what I mean? And I don't, I just, I, I mean that for like people that want to do this as a job. Um, and things like that. Like, yeah, it's awesome. And if I could tell you the amount of questions I've had over the years about like, start a channel. How do you do this? How do you do that? Blah, blah, blah. Great. But I think it's equally important as well as I've had so many cool things happen on this channel. I think it's equally important that I tell you in a way, I guess, when things are less good, because I need you to understand that this, this shit happens to everybody. And I know that. I mean, it's probably in some senses, not always a little bit easier for you know, other people, if they've got people living with them and they can, you know, problem shared is a problem halved and all that sort of stuff in terms of like financials. But I, I'm not in that position. Um, and it, it's just, it's really hard for me. Like, I don't want to paint a picture of everything being super rosy if it's not. I'm not going to be doom and gloom. That's not what I'm saying. I just don't want to come on here and lie to you or keep things from you to a point where I really don't feel like I'm being myself anymore. So that's kind of why I'm saying anything at all. Again, vague. But what can you do? What can you do? So I need to figure out... Oh, why is this looped? Why is that looped on itself? Oh, I'm just going to... You know what? I'll just cut that short. Why not? Let me just check this brief interlude. <laughs> brief interlude. Because this might be a bit too long. Oh, right. Okay. Well, these two are a bit long. Let me just put this back down. Oh, God. That's so scary. Let me just get a couple more of these. Um, Maybe there. Maybe there. They might be a little bit better. I might feed this, you know, before I put him back. Let's just have a quick look. He's still got a bit of tapering. Can you see this on camera? Yeah, but he's, he's, I mean, come on, he's a lot shorter. I just don't want to do too much. And right now he's going to look real weird because obviously I've started to untangle him. So again, I'm looking at my monitor. I've untangled him. So he's not going to present sexy like he did last week, obviously, because his leaves are now rotated around, but he will be absolutely fine. Let's just plop him back down. I'm quite happy with that length. And of course he will just rotate himself. I'll see if I can like semi rotate him back, but I, I, I don't think I can, but I'll tell you something. What I don't like, what I don't like is where's he gone? Is it him? No, him, 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 him. This guy here has got a lot of leaves that are just not on there. So I'm just going to trim him because I really don't like that. It's like, I think if you get, you know, a vine with like nodes that haven't created leaves or whatever, um, and you're really hanging onto it and it's long, I promise you guys, if you cut it, you're going to, right, your plant's going to be shorter, but it's going to look a lot bushier. It, it's worth it in the long run. So if you ever want to like prune your plant, that's a really good thing to look for. Like, for example, this is fine. There's, I'm not saying they're the best leaves on planet Earth, but they're, you know, they're all all the way down the um the vine so it's fine so yeah i can't even remember where i was up to with that and i realized how cryptic i've probably sounded but it's just kind of to let you know guys there's, there's nothing anyone can do really well and i guess just be mindful when i do like things like sponsorships please like please um it's it's i've got animals that i need to to pay for because i can't i can't face losing them i would literally you'd never see me again i swear to god so i just need to do as much as i can now i tried to go up and do um more content more videos but it, it was it's very difficult when i'm running a company guys it's really difficult and honestly if i go back to work because obviously that's more of a guaranteed wage each month then i can't really do double content i will do what i can when i can great cool um but it's not a guaranteed thing that I can do, but I will, I will obviously give it my best. My plan over the next couple of months, one, I have to fix my computer because it won't turn on. Love it. Um, and then I need to try and download UE5. A lot of you might not know what that is. Uh, game, not even games developers, but people who play video games probably know what that is. Um, so I need to download that again and have a little go, but yeah. <sighs> It's tough. It's tough. I would like to stay in this house. <laughs> I don't want to leave this house. Um, obviously, I have a plan at some point to leave this house, but it certainly wasn't going to be less than two years after I got it. That's for sure. So... I'm just, I'm going to do my best. I don't really know what's proper to do. I don't know how much to tell you guys, to not tell you. Like I really haven't worked it out, but I just, I've literally built this channel on being transparent. And I, I really, I'm trying to do that now, you know? So if you want to send a hug in the comments, perfect. I'll have it. Um, but I, I'm genuinely just trying to do the right thing by you guys. Um, I, I'm aware it's nobody's business. I completely get that. So I'm just checking the time. We're good. Um, I'm aware it's nobody's business. 
but it's just, it, it feels, it's getting to the point where it feels a bit weird not addressing, you know, things like content changes and, and stuff like that. Um, I do want to bring you a lot more home-related content. I would like to talk about books more. I would like the time to read books more because when I was on holiday, I realized very quickly that, oh, can I do this at home? Like, do I actually have the time in the day? I'm going to do everything I can to make time. But because it, it's something that I really enjoyed on holiday and it's something I really want. Like, I need to just swap watching TV for an hour on a night time for reading. Now, I always used to think that reading would take a lot of brain power, but and it does, but... I think I'm just gonna sort of take the leap and just try and do it, I think. Cause I just, I need some escapism, you know what I mean? Like some people probably like reading, you know, non-fiction and stuff like that. I've always been an admirer of fiction because I really like the escapism. Plus I read a lot when I was a kid. Right, does this look, it looks worse. <laughs> does it actually look worse? Uh, yeah, it's not terrible. What's going on down here? There's some weird shit going down the bottom. But I think, generally, I think that's fine. I think if I'm going to start rearranging it, it's almost got to be done when it goes back on the shelf, maybe? You know? It will perk up when it is watered. It's not even a case of feeding, it's a case of watering it, really. Um, and anyone that wants to follow along with the growth, you will know that I've cut it today. So we will see how quickly it grows back when it's fed, yeah? Right, I'm going to put that on the table once more, like that. We will deal with the cuttings, don't worry. I will show you everything I've cut off in a moment. Just gently putting that down. Because, oh, I don't have my a nice watering can down here. That's a bit of a shame. I only have this one. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's from Ikea. You know, good shit. But I would have really liked a different one. Right, my feed. Damn it. I didn't pull it out in advance. It's really annoying because I have to get my ugly nasty feed. Excuse me. Um, from under the sink, guys. Is it under the sink? Oh, don't tell me it's upstairs. Piss off. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put my feed in it, guys. I'm going to put some number three in it, which honestly probably is the right thing to do, I would say. Um, I need a pipette. I need a pipette. I need a pipette. I don't think they're up here, you know. Because obviously we're looking to get roots. So you would think that if I put a root stimulant on, we would get to it. I'm not going to be able to get in there. Oh, you really joking me. Right, I can't even get in my drawers because I've put... Unbelievable. This is just not even funny. I've clearly put pipettes somewhere that I can't get to them. <sighs> Listen, because I went upstairs, I got it. So I'm not going to put number three in. I've changed my mind again. We're going to put number one in and we're going to feed it. And then we're going to deal with the cuttings, which mm, should have number three in, but maybe I will. Maybe I will. Let's put this back up here because nobody cares. So well, let me stop and start this because it's going to go off bosh like such. Focus on my face. Yes, good. I'm going to shake it. I'll just put it in before the water because this isn't going to froth up very much. Ooh, it's, it smells good. It sounds good. It does smell good. It really does. I don't really need necessarily four, but I'll go for that. That'll do. Lovely. Um, I need to put that somewhere where I can deal with it afterwards. Um, have I got out my nail? Yes, I am. Right. This is my feed, by the way. I've probably said this before in, um, oh, I don't know, plan chores videos. I've got all my hands lovely. This is my feed. I've had it so long. It is absolutely gammy, but it's the feed that I use because obviously when I produce packaging for the feed, it costs a lot of money per packet. And when formulas are sent to me to test and whatever, they're not coming in my packaging because I have to send off to do that. You know what I mean? comes in this shit. It actually comes in even bigger bats than this. But this is the one I have in the house. Let me just put some wet air in here. People are asking me what water to use with this. I mean, RO water, fine. I'm using tap. Could not give two shits, guys. Don't overthink it. Just shove water in with it. It's fine. I promise you. I would not make a product that you could not be slapdash with. Trust me on that, guys. You just have to trust me. Right. Wonderful. Mm. The rest of the plants behind me, by the way, are in desperate need of a water. Like, desperate, desperate need. Um, I watered them before I went on holiday, but they've obviously ran out. And I'll be honest, I was kind of waiting for a chores video to water them, obviously. Um, so I will be filming that next few days, but I might just have to give them some of them a splash of water because they're not gonna, they're not gonna make it through, I don't think, because that's in a few days. Or at least the weekend and we're on Wednesday, so some of them are gonna need a little bit, even if I just sort of wet through them. But I'm watering this by covering all of the surface in this shit. 
Um, there's a litre going in. That should cover it, no problem. Probably holds a litre, this one, actually, this um, plant pot. But I'm just making sure that I douse it through because it, it has gone very dry. We just don't want that. I love this spout. I've talked about it before. This spout, one, if you're watering up a height on a shelf, you can reach plants very easily. But two, when you pour it, can you see this or not? There is always a really nice constant... Can you see it? Yeah, a really nice constant flow. It's just a very enjoyable plant pot to use. Now, if you've got big pots, you know, no, it's not great. For big pots, I have the same watering can from the unit, which is basically, literally, I wish I had a better option, but it, it's this. So if it's, you know, some of the big boys, like the big monster, I'm not going to piss around with a little watering can. But I will link that watering can in the description just because it is really good and it's from Amazon. And I think I had, I got this, I got a little spray bottle, which I think is the pest stuff in that? No, it's in something else. I think I got a little spray bottle and I got some watering globes with it. So I guess it's not just that that you get. It's different things. Right, so we've done that. So he's nice and heavy now. Great, love that. I might put him back on the shelf. If you've noticed a really god awful, can you see it? Yeah, really god awful gap, it's because of this. So let's just, oh, nearly still on the cuttings. Nearly still on the cuttings. So we'll just gently, oh yes, put him there. Yeah, he's a bit floppy, isn't he? He'll be fine. He will perk up very quickly. Um, the other gaps in the shelves, by the way, are due to uh, this situation here. So these are what we've got. We're going to make a teeny weeny little bush. Step by step, I will show you, show you how to do it. It's not difficult. It's not difficult. Yeah. So anyway, while I work out what's going on with each of these vines, hopefully you can see. Well, I don't have a lot to work with, but I will try and show you. That's, it's not really a life update. I don't know what I'm going to call this video. If I've called it life update, it's maybe a bit, um, a bit strong for what it is. Just, I guess I'm basically saying things aren't great. Buckle up, <laughs> prepare for one or two changes. And I guess just Try not to judge me too much along the way anyway. Um, obviously, with things like sponsorships, I don't just take any old thing. You know, I do look and think, oh, is this something people would like? Yes, okay, you know, let's do it kind of thing. I mean, it's, it's nothing like that. I just, you know, if it's something you've noticed, you, you're not crazy. I, it's, it is something I've had to start doing, unfortunately. I just have to hope I can get a job. That sounds wild. And that sounds wild to me, guys, because I have two degrees. I have an undergraduate degree at... Uh, first class honours and then I have a master's degree at distinction both in C++ engineering and I'm worried about getting a job. Mainly it's not the qualifications obviously it's the time out from the job and this is I mean I don't know what I thought when I quit my job did I ever think I'd be back doing it I don't know I, I think people have probably asked me this a lot throughout like YouTube career or whatever like throughout videos over the years I think people probably have asked me like do you miss it would you go back and I, I, I'd like to think I've always said yeah I would um, depending on what's going on in my lifetime I mean you know I've never not said I'd, I don't miss it. I don't necessarily miss the position in the old job I was in. That's very different from missing the work. You know what I mean? I miss the work. I just don't necessarily miss certain jobs. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We've, we've spoke about it before, guys. There's nothing, you know, no major T. I just, I don't know. I guess I just dance around saying it a little bit. This is too long. It's too long to keep in a little pot. It is. Come on, it is. I know that'd be like super great, great head start and all. We, we can't. We can't, guys. We're going to have to shorten it, maybe. What's the root like? Maybe we should judge this off root. That's a bit of dead aerial there. Um, That's got a good root. Let's cut it there. I like the aerial. It's not very big. Can you see? It's not very big, but I want to do that. So I will go off that length. I'll not be able to do that every time. I completely get, but we will see. Plant it like that. I mean, at least it's got long, nice internodes. Right, so that's double ended now. Hmm, I hate it when that happens. Don't know which end to pick. Right, well, we'll ignore that one. Just kind of doing it on like a vine by vine basis. So yeah, that's kind of like my update. Um, mental health, hanging on by a thread. <laughs> I'm saying it in jest. Don't like, don't take that, you know, on a really deep, serious level. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing great, but it's not, you know, I'm, I'm joking. Um, it's just, it's so tough. It's so tough when I've been saying this to like my parents and my friends and stuff. It's so tough when you're here on your own and you don't have a teammate to, to help. There's no teammate. Like I am my team and I've done it for years. Yeah, great. But it wasn't difficult before, you know, because the earnings were okay and everything else. It just wasn't difficult. Now it's fucking difficult. You know, if something goes wrong, the book falls on me, but now I have animals and it's just, I've been finding it honestly really, really stressful, really, really stressful. 
my personal life changed quite dramatically as well. I don't mean with girlfriends, I mean with like other things. It's just all, I love to keep that long. Ooh, I realistically can't though. I know it looks so pretty, but it's coming out of a teeny pot. Ugh, it's so annoying, isn't it? I'm just gonna cut it. I'm just not gonna think I'm gonna cut it. Now it's done. And that'll probably have to come off as I need probably to plant the node. So yeah, that's, that's that anyway. Um, not to like dwell on it or anything. Are we good for time? We're okay for time. Not to dwell on it. Oh, sorry. Just smacked the microphone with my hair. But just, just bear with me is all I can really ask you for. Can't really ask you for anything else, can I? Um, what's going on outside of that? Honestly, nothing. That's that's my entire life. It's my entire life. The podcast, I would really like to um, really get going now. I would love to do an episode every two weeks. Again, it's about to get hairy, so I don't know. Because once a month isn't going to do anything for anybody. I completely get that. I know I said that in the beginning, like, you know, I can commit to once a month, whatever. That's not ideal. I know that. That's not really useful for anybody. Um, it's better than not doing one at all. Fine. But I want to do more than that. It's just, everything is so, so unknown at the minute. It really is. I'm going to do singles here. You can't decide what to do with this at all. That, I might just chuck that. I, I know, I know we've, we've got a lot, you know what I mean? <laughs> we have a lot of them. Let's get rid of some of the spare. Just do that. So yeah, I mean, I definitely want to do that book video. Um, spoiler alert, if you don't like horror, you ain't gonna like it. That is what I love to read, but I did read all the books I said I would read in my, you know, last vlog or whatever have you. Chores video, whatever you want to call it. Um, I read all the ones I said I would. So I have thoughts, I have thoughts. Um, I went to see the Terrifier 3 at the cinema, which again, if you watch the other video, you'll know I was going to see because I went and got the snacks and everything else. Um, I went to see one and two when I had the snacks and it was a movie marathon. And then I saw three like two days ago and I thought it was great. I thought it was great. Again, acquired taste. Honestly, honestly, there's been loads of like reports online of people like throwing up and passing out. Maybe I'm just a psychopath. Like I don't understand how you could throw up and pass out. Probably quite telling, isn't it? I don't know. But I loved it anyway. I thought it was really, really good. It, obviously, it's not perfect, but like it's... um. So quick background, because if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to be like, eh? it's a movie. Well, it's, a, it's a series of movies, horror movies. It's, it's classed as like gore slash or whatever. Not my usual style, but you know, I just love the clown. Um, It's that kind of thing, but it, it's originally started as like full on indie B movie type thing. And it's managed to work its way to the point where it's topping the box office, which is actually, I mean, props to the guy, uh, the director, Damien Le Leon, something like that. Um, um, really, really good. Thought it was absolutely brilliant, but I appreciate it's not everyone's cup of tea. I've got some cool stuff planned for not Halloween, but um, well, it, it's around Halloween. I'm going to not this weekend. When I'm back next weekend, I'm going to like a cute little light trail walk thing. That's gonna be really nice. Take it to see some nice lights. Can't wait for that. So, am I just rambling? I feel like I am. Oh, oh, that's a thing. I need to finalize it with my wonderful designer, which actually I've just realized I've got their t-shirt on. Tropics Narcotics designed this t-shirt that I have on. You want to see massive Monstera Escalito on the back and three leaves on the front. Can't remember the size of this. Could be a large, could be an XL. Give me a minute and I'll not ruin the mic. Uh, this is a large. I tend to be a size six up top and I'm five foot four. So the larges are very large. They're larger than my larges. Like absolutely. Like this goes down. Like, can you even see how far this goes? Probably not. Like it, it goes really far down. Um, so anyway, I'm wearing their t-shirt, but they also are the wonderful people behind my merch. And I've just come up with a new little design for you. It's a bit more simplistic than the ones I've previously done, but I just wanted something that was a little bit more universal this time around before I, you know, come up with my next ideas because I'm not quite sure what direction to go in with it. So I need a little bit more time. I brought something out. It's not out yet. It's coming imminently for like October time, but it's not Halloween-y. I thought about, sorry, I'm making sure my mic is all right. I thought about doing something Halloween-y, but then I just feel like no one's going to care after Halloween. So what's the point? Because obviously it costs to have them designed. So I've come up with something quite simplistic, but I think you will like it. So that's coming soon. I will let you know, but yeah. These, this t-shirt, I will link, I'll link the website in the description because it gives you more of a, you know, place to browse, but they're really, really cool. I love them. I, I think they're great and they're such good designers. Oh my God. So anyway, that's coming soon-ish, I want to say. Um, ooh, there's not a lot of this left. I have to get another bag out of the shed. Note system number eight pawn, a classic. I'll just have to grab it with my hand, I think. I've covered this before. It's like 
the leading brand of porn only it's thicker and it's got a different ratio because I find that aroids get too too soggy to be honest unless it's a really tough aroid like say you know this epipremnum some of them don't like it and it's just a bit too soggy for them so I changed the ratio and I made the the grade is that the right word thicker coarser to accommodate it. Right, what I've done is I've sort of grouped these in a way in which I would plant them. Now, I don't know how well this is going to go for me because I feel like I have to plant them quite low and I honestly feel like, to be honest, I don't like this, but I'm going to have to take off the odd leaf because it's so close to where I'm planting them. And if I'd thought harder about this, um, I could have probably thought about this when I cut them but I haven't so I'm going to just go through it really quickly and take off some of the bottom leaves like a lot of these are fine that's fine oh my goodness they're all together that's fine there that's enough but there was one that's no because I'm going to plant it there so it has to come off um that's not bad though I just need a node without really a leaf on it because it's just going to go minging minging as we say in the UK that's fine but there's like barely any root so right I'm now I've only lined that a little bit I'm going to line it a bit more, just little handfuls, because these are just tiny little pots, so you, you can just sort of put it in your hand. What I want to do, so I've got shit all over here, all over, very grim. I'm going to pick these up as if I would plant them, just so you, if you're curious as to what I'm doing, that is what I'm doing. So I need a node, a little bit of vine on the end of the node, sorry, to sort of stabilize it in the pot so it's got something to have pawn around. And I've removed the leaf because I know that if I try and plant that, I'm going to plant it too close to the top so I can get the leaf to come out and it's going to go wrong. I've done this before. I did a very slapdash at the unit and I learned my lesson. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I recommend you do from experience. Just lose a leaf, guys. Nobody's going to care. You're not going to care. What you want is for the cuttings to take. Now, you could really put these in water, but because I am being slapdash in my own way, we're not doing that. We're just going to put them in as is. But I'm trying to put them, one, so that where the, the aerial roots are, that it's together. But two, I'm just going to try and be like semi-mindful of the way that the vines are facing. And if I, you know, pinch them together in a certain orientation, will it look sort of sexy? You feel me? So it's probably going to be very difficult because they have just grown a certain way and they probably just need to, they just need some time to themselves to rotate really, but we'll try. This is, ooh, which way does that grow? Ooh, it won't tell me. It won't tell me. There. Yeah, like it's not, oh God, you know what? I gave it such big talk. It looks like shit, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like shit. Um, it's just, oh no. Uh, right, that's going to have to be the start then. So again, line up the aerial. Try and put this in a way where it doesn't look grim. Here's another one. Now, what can sometimes happen is they fail. They don't take. But not all of these are going to fail. Honestly, they're not. They'll be fine. They will be fine. Um, so I've got those, right? This is the thing. I have these, which that just looks stupid. How does that look? Really crap. Really. So <laughs> I have those together. Great. Love that for me. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Let's just pull that off as well. I have those, but also I have a couple of, wee some single nodes that I snipped. I snipped them, guys. I snipped them. Um, there we go. That are down here that I do fancy putting in. Now I can, can you see? Hopefully you can. Um, I'm going to line them up and sort of try and arrange them the best I can just to make like a cute little tuft. I've left a little bit of vine around, you know, either side of the node just to help steady it in the pot. That's all it's for, honestly. They shouldn't rot too much and if they decide to disintegrate it should be when it's long safe so what i've actually done i'm really hoping you see this there that might be a better way of showing it these are the ones that i've just sort of hand placed and i've sort of made them sort of rotate in a circle so you get like this is covered at the back you see what i'm saying and then when it grows this will sort itself out but then it just it grows it grows so that's my plan i really wish you know i could have just like tied that how good would that be to plant if i could just tie it but that's kind of what we're working with in there and honestly the size of that should be enough it should be enough so it needs to go down like that maybe just check that i'm happy with this shit because once it's in it's in as they say um and i think that's quite nice so what i need to try and do oh my god like that oh that's quite sexy that's quite sexy okay so i'm now going to desperately try to hold on to this while scooping with one hand some of this shit and it's going to make a mess it's going to make a mess like really i should have had something to pour this because my hands just not a good 
this, this, not a dispatcher. Dispatcher? Dispenser? Yeah, this is going everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I can just put it in one side and then sort of rearrange after. Oh, I'm gonna have to hoover. Or vacuum, as you guys say in the US. Let's have a look. Meh. I will probably be able to scoop that up actually after I finish this. But we'll see. Ugh. This is how I would go about doing this, by the way. Is it the right method? Well, there's no right or wrong method. Is it the safest method? No. Safest method, water. Especially with a bit of feed in it. It doesn't even have to be, well, one, it doesn't have to be my feed. But even if it is my feed, it doesn't even have to be the root booster. That would be your best choice. Um, but you can just stick feed in it, to be honest. Just a little bit, get it going. It will really help. There we go. Oh, I buried the leaf. How rude of me. Now, my fear is I let go of this shit and it just falls out. It's happened before, guys. It's happened before. I'm trying not to let it get to me. Right, please be fine, please be fine. Warring it in will help. Oh, has that not even gone to the... Oh, I do this every time, you know. I just don't plant it deep enough. You don't have to put pawn all the way up. God damn it. Right. Now I can use my hand, though, so that's better. You know what I mean? Use both hands. Right. That is not ideal. Will not lie. Not ideal. Does this look good? No. It looks quite bad. But I don't know what better way there is to do this. It's in there, but will it will it live? Will it last? Yeah, it's just all kind of all over the place. I think the best thing to do in this situation is you put it somewhere and you leave it. So I'm going to put that off camera just for a second while I clean this horrible mess. Because it is a horrible mess. We don't like it. Oh, that's a bit of stem. I don't want that. Um, I think the best thing to do is just give it a bit of feed. I think I will put some root booster in that because that is, yeah. Um, and... Hopefully, the roots will come along nicely. I mean, it's epipremnum. Come on, like, it's not hard, is it? It's not hard to get roots. It's really not. That's not bad. Oh, I cleaned this today. Now I have to clean it again. Right, put that out of shot, so to speak. Right, let's have a look at this. Show our creation off. It looks botched. It looks botched. But it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Yeah, there's there's not really a way to have this all hanging nicely. I just, the important thing is, is that I'm starting it off. Because when it's ready, it'll have to be sent over to my girlfriend's house. Because she's not in this country, you see. So I can't just drop it round in the car. But we will get it really nice. And to be honest with you, what when, when are we in now? We're in like nearly late October. Before Christmas, it'll be fine. Maybe even if I want to make it really pretty, I can wait till like January and it'll probably look great. Um, I, I don't really have any worries. Is that coming out? <gasps> no. This is one of the better ones as well. Guys, I've done that thing where I haven't planted it well enough. Shit. How do I get it in there? I can't really just stick it in, you know what I mean? <sighs> I think I've fucked up here. I can't get it back in. That's just going to fall out. Right, that's going to have to grow in a different manner because I, I fucked it, guys. I fucked it. Right. So without pulling on that too much because it's not in as well as I thought it was, that's my fault. We're going to just kind of leave it. Obviously, I'm going to feed it and put some number three in desperately because the sooner it gets number three in, the better it's going to be because why not stimulate the roots when we've got no roots? You know, so we'll leave it like that. I am going to put that. I'm, you won't see what I'm doing right now, but I have some water in the cabinet that I have some micans in that I'm going to plop this in because it will grow. I actually need to sort this micans out because this was also for her, but she has a mican, so I don't know if she still wants this or not. Maybe she does. It's kind of like hair extensions for your plants, though, isn't it? It's kind of cool. Wow. Okay, that won't go in because there's so many roots in that pot. Love that for me. Um, I've got, you won't see this either. I've got another pot. Uh, can I get to it? Another pot round here. Got one with a glory or something that needs sorting, but if I just put that in here. There, right, that's fine. That will be fine, it won't die. Right, what did I say I was doing? I said I was doing feed. And I said I was doing number three. So number one and number three. And this is actually, not that anyone cares. This is why I came up with the number system. It was inspired by Olaplex. I've mentioned this before, but I like the idea of people talking to each other and just making swapping plant care really simple. Like, oh, what do you use? Oh, I use one and four. Oh, I use one and three. I use two and three. I use two and five. You know what I mean? Like I want, I want that kind of, have I just splattered myself? Yes, I have. I want that kind of vibe. I want it to be that easy to talk about and do you know what I mean? I, people don't need to remember the names. You don't need to remember the names. I, obviously I know the names, but you get my point. Like you don't, it's not inherently 
important, you can just sort of say, well, I'm using this and this, and I, I, I just kind of like that, you know what I mean? Just kind of like that. Let's get some number three. I don't need number two. Just number three will do. Right, I'm gonna do five milliliter because it is cuttings. So why not? Where have I just put, there it is, the pipette. So borderline, the same amount as what I used for the feed. That's going to be very nice, guys. It's very, very nice. This shit lasts you forever, by the way. It is a 250 milliliter bottle, but it will last you so long, so long. Because you don't need to use it all the time. You just boost it, just boost it. You know what I mean? You don't have to put this in every time you water. The feed is more for that. And the feed does have bits of this in to make it an all rounded. It's got bits of number two, bits of number three, you know, stuff like that, bits of number four. Um, but this is for when you really want the boost. So you don't have to use this all the time. Hey, if you want to, you know, if you're a seller, absolutely have at it. It'll probably help you a lot, but you don't have to. So let me just put some water in this. If you can hear anything, it's because it is raining quite significantly. Where is my tap? There it is. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Fill it to one litre. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Oh, does anything else need watering? Not really. Hmm. Well, sort of. Let me just put a little bit in here because it's not going to need the full thing, is it? So this has in, just to recap, it's got number one. It's got standard dose of number one. This is a one litre watering can. Um, and it has got standard dose of number three. So it's got power grow in it and it's got rapid recovery in it. And I keep saying this, but I wish I had rapid recovery in 2020. I would have made a killing because I would have grown my plants five times faster. I mean, I wish I had a nurture system because they would have grown five times faster. Um, but definitely rapid recovery for like shipping stuff in and stuff. They don't really import anymore. So shipping stuff in was just marvellous when I had that. I should probably actually water now what I was supposed to water because I haven't. And it's no good. So let's actually pour it where I need to. I'm going to pour it all over it. Can you see what I'm doing? I mean, you can't obviously, but you get my point. Like, can you actually see anything? I'm going to pour it all over it. Maybe get it in there. Saturate it all. Even if I saturate further out, it should transport the water a little bit. Nice and slow. I don't mind actually overfilling this slightly. And I'll, I'll be honest, I have been known to do that. If I've got like a plant, I don't know, say that this cutting here, this really shitty mint cutting that still has not given me a leaf, what the fuck? Sometimes if I know the plant doesn't have much root and I'm in self-watering, I will actually overwater it a bit and take the, the, you know, the little meat of the straw thing. I'll actually take it to the top because I know that my roots don't go to the bottom. So for the first couple of times, I can get away with overwatering it. And if the water level goes a bit higher, it's only gonna benefit me. So I'm not saying that's official advice. So, you know, do that with care. Don't just blindly trust me on that. But I'd be curious to know if anyone else does that because I've never had a problem doing it and I do find it kind of helps. What are we missing here? Got a little bit there, lovely. A little bit for you, just a little bit for you. And then this can have the tiny bit of drags that's left before watering day. Lovely, lovely. Put that over there. I do have, the only bit of wastage I have, guys, is that. And to be honest, I could probably just shove it in the big, very algae looking vat over there that I've got for some stuff. But generally, can I get to my kitchen towel? No, love that. So I just have to look all drippy. This is what we're left with. It's not the most secure thing on planet Earth, but I genuinely, I'm going to probably put it either up there on the cabinet or somewhere. I'm gonna let it chill. I'm not gonna touch it. I'll water it when it needs watering. Um, I'll definitely probably do another couple of runs of number three in it periodically just to really make sure it goes because I, I know that it does, um, but it'll just go a little bit quicker. I'll still feed, probably do like a concoction of both. Um, and I'm just gonna leave it and this will look shit for a bit, but hopefully some bits start to grow and it will gradually just get a bit better. I'll keep it for as long, for as long as it takes to get sexy so I can send it over and it's all cute and you know, everything else. And I'll probably send it over in moss and she will just have to pot it because um, I'm terrified of sending things in actual self-watering pot because obviously I wouldn't send it with water, but you get the point, it's heavy and I don't want the weight knocking around in it. But that is basically the finished product. That is her, oh. Yeah, no, it just needs to, you know what? It needs to write itself in the light because this is, <laughs> it's not a vibe. It's like all turned backwards. I swear when I did this, I had this pointing the other way. I can't even flip it now because I've planted bits here behind it that I can't even tip because it's gonna just screw all over the camera. But never mind. So that's what I'm left with. The other one is obviously, can you see it? Yes, sort of. There's a bit of a gap. I might put that in the gap. Should we put that in the gap? I don't think it needs to be in the cabinet. I think it'll be fine out the cabinet because this one was. Let me just have a little looky. I'll just put that there. It looks ridiculous, granted, but it should, it should write itself. 
And obviously these need to go back. That goes back in the cabinet. May as well update you on these while we're here. Why not? There's no reason why not to. Uh, Monstera and Sony Eye Verigata, looking cute. He's He's got two growth points, so he grows from two different directions. He's all right. He's got a little bit of crisp here, which is a bit of a shame. The rest of them is fine. I suspect this is on its way to reversion. Not ideal. Probably not gonna do anything about it. I don't care, to be honest. I'll just keep him as he is for a while. I really couldn't give a shit. So that's him anyway. I have... This guy is, it's Anthurium SP chocolate, or spur chocolate, and you can't tell he's chocolatey and it's really sad. But there's another one in the cabinet that I have been growing and it's growing in my absence since I've been on holiday. Can you see that being chocolatey? Yes, probably. I'll show you that up to the camera. That's SP chocolate. It's like it's got crystalline in it with something else. I don't know what it is. It's quite muted really, but it's really, really nice. I promise you it's really, really nice. So that just lives in there for now. What else do I have? I've got that. Oh, my dark forgetty eye, which actually looks great from one side and then stupid from the other side. Love that for us. That's what he looks like. I am pretty obsessed with this plant, as you may know. It's just, it's the best plant. It's the best anthurium to learn from. Even probably better than crystallinum. I'd actually rank it higher than that in terms of ease, fun, everything else. Um, this, as I mentioned before, is my really shitty mint that I've I've shown you guys a while ago and it's still not given me a leaf. It never had leaf drop, which is very impressive and I'm very pleased about that because so, I, I planted it in basically nothing. Um, and to be fair, it didn't really have any root, so fair. Um, but it's, it's just not done anything for me. So I'm a bit sad, but it's fine. And what else? Oh, this, I'm gonna sell this, I think, because I've got too many. I really have too many. As you guys know, I have a big one of these, but this is Monstera Brazil Common Form and you probably can't tell. I do have some pictures of a mature one on my Instagram so you can see the difference, but that's it. And it is like a little plant now. If it'll fit in a box, happy to sell it really. Um, but he's, he's quite nice because I can't keep all this shit in the house. I just can't. So we'll see what happens with him. I'll just put that back. He's not in a nice place now. Never mind. Oh, oh, oh. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Um, it was garbled. Obviously, I, I haven't been able to articulate my thoughts properly. I apologize. I should really maybe have waited until I, I can. And I can talk about this in the future or something. So if I do another report, you want to ask me something, that's fine. I can totally do that. Um, so apologies for that. I'm aware that that was like mm. brain fart. Um, other than that, you'll see me very soon because this is Friday's video. I need to do a couple of extras for next week. So you'll see me very, very soon. If you've got any requests, leave them down below. I'd be glad to do them. I do have some stuff to do in this house but I think I need my dad to help me do it tomorrow. I have some, what do you call it? Like a plastic frosted film to go over the glass so that my plants don't get fried, even though they're not getting fried. Some of it's a privacy thing anyway. So I've got that to put up. I've got some amazing prints, amazing prints to hang up in my downstairs bathroom. Can't wait for those. Um, and just some other bits. Obviously I need to water everything, maybe a bit of a trim, because I don't know if you can see this. It'd be really sad if you couldn't, can you? Yeah, this guy, luck and triumphant by the way, super happy with him. This guy's looking incredible. He's got really big, really, really big in my absence. Everything's going really nice. Very quickly before I go, the DIY pest spray, not a single problem. Um, when I sprayed it, it was very heavy on the alcohol. It went the next day, it wasn't there anymore. Um, everything's still very waxy and sexy. No sign of pests. All good. Um, it is the, the spray that I made, by the way, I featured it on the last vlog I did. You'll probably see a little blue spray bottle in the thumbnail if you're interested. Um, I've made sprays like that before, but I haven't done it with mineral soap. I've done it with neem and neem really pisses me off. It's just, ugh, the smell is nasty. The oil is just thicker and gloopier and it's not for me. So I tried it with mineral oil and some dish soap and some alcohol. I might play around a little bit with the alcohol content. We'll see. I appreciate the value in alcohol sprays because I've mentioned this before. I've used it on Mealy and it worked really well. Um, but that is going well. So that's that's a quick update for you, sort of off the cup, off the cup, off the cuff. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Any comments you'd like to leave down below, I greatly appreciate. Thank you so much for your support in this current point in the timeline. I really appreciate it. And if you see things like, you know, sponsorships and stuff like that on the channel, I, it's for good reasons. Okay. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll get back to you really shortly with that merch and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.